we've got some Azeroth at War news. Is it going to be called Azeroth at War anymore? I don't know. It looks like the name of this server is going to be changing. But before we get into that, I'm going to go over some smaller updates and news for the server. And then we'll get into the juicy parts. First things first, over on Reddit. Let's switch over there real quick. They've posted um, basically just photographs, screenshots rather, of this server's version of Kazan and Undermine. It's mostly Kazan, but there are some Undermine uh, pictures. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can see. So it's very inspired by um, Booty Bay and Ratchet rather than Cataclysm's like small version of Kazan that we saw. Which I personally did not like the Cataclysm update to the goblins i just it it was very like i was gonna say the word grimy but they're kind of grimy to begin with <laughs> they're goblins but you know what i mean it's it's more of that like not quite steampunk because gnomes are steampunk but i i don't know how else to describe it but it's just that city life kind of thing it didn't vibe well this right here looks more like a pirate town like a smuggler's town and that's what i think of goblins i don't think of goblins as like 1930s new york or some shit like that i think <laughs> i think of them as like the like the sleazy black market salesman in the like the behind the tavern at a pirate bar you know what i mean like a pirate town that's what i think of and booty bay captures it pretty good for vanilla i wish it could be you know revisited and re you know made bigger like an actual pirate town but that's just wishful thinking here of course is a smaller version of a actual like pirate town with definitely some influence from booty bay and there's like like a jungle view of it you can see the boat in the background you can also see a little bit of the boat in the corner right there of the uh, right hand corner of the thing and you also have the uh, cannon watchtower so just like booty bay uh go this way looks like it goes into some like old ruins like they look like human ruins so probably a settlement tried building there originally and just never made it uh got some troll ruins which makes sense there's a lot of jungle trolls and there are various ruins around um the south seas and right there is a mine or a cave which leads down into the undermine now if you're not familiar with the lore undermine is actually the deep dark like underground city of the goblins that is basically their capital city their racial capital city we never saw undermine in game we only really saw above it uh, kazan basically and most of it was wiped out by deathwing and the volcano but the undermine remained we still had never been to the undermine this server i think is going to be the very first server to ever introduce the undermine you know, we've had versions of Kazan, but never the Undermine. So that's going to be really interesting to see. And again, the Undermine, not only is it the capital city of the goblins, but there are so many cartels there. Like goblins have plenty of cartels. Really, only one cartel joins the horde and another one is like kind of with the horde, right? Uh, which I think eventually in retail, they did officially join the horde but many other cartels are either neutral or anti-faction so we're going to see plenty of goblins here now these are going to be for the starting zone of the goblins for right now i don't know if we're going to ever be able to actually go to it after the starting zone or if you're not a goblin at all if you just want to visit it as a zone i don't know if that's going to be the case Probably because unlike the broken starting zone where we're not going to be visiting Outland at all, so we're not going to be seeing that. That's going to be the only time we see Outland. Uh, this is in Azeroth. So maybe eventually if we move out to the South Seas in an expansion like post-launch or something, we very well could see this area outside of the starting zone again. Anyway, we're going to be moving on to the next thing, which is right over here in Discord. If I scroll up a little bit, we've got Hearth Glen re, uh, remade right here. It's uh, mostly the same, but there are some changes. And of course, we have the, um, the keep above it, which I don't believe was in the original Hearth Glen, but it has been added as it is there in Warcraft 3. And this server is being heavily influenced 
by Warcraft 3. So that's going to be like a big heavy hitter of this um, server. Going down, we have the introduction of the Dark Trolls. Now, we've been talking a little bit on the discords, uh, just in the public servers, about if Dark Trolls would make it, if they would be an alliance of uh, race, like to to like mirror the hordes troll and they could be friends to the night elves because they were in warcraft 3 and hyjal they there's a small faction of dark trolls in hyjal so that's probably where these guys are going to come in but we don't know for sure or if they're going to be you know off the bat there but uh, the are they are not going to be for the alliance that was just our little speculation in discord they are going to be a sub race for the horde a sub race under i believe they're going to be under the forest trolls but either way, that's them right there, the Dark Troll. Oh, and Ice Trolls have also been delegated to a sub-race. So Ice Trolls are no longer going to be a Horde, you know, main race. They're going to be a sub-race of the Forest Troll. Now, with this server, if for the betas, I believe they'll be there off the bat so you could, you know, play around with them. But for live, very few sub-races will be available off the bat. You will have to unlock the sub races through questing either in the early game mid game or mostly the end game the majority of them are going to be available at the end game but they did say some of them might be available mid game or early game and then the last two we're going to talk about are wild hammer dwarves which are also a sub race as well as the dark uh, dark dark iron dwarves the dark iron dwarves oh and uh, by the way the Dranai are no longer going to be a playable race. Instead, the um, Broken are just going to be called Draenei because that's originally what they were as the Draenei, as we know it from TBC, were just called Eridar, you know? They're, they were just like, they were just demons as, you know, Kill Jaden and, and Archimon was. So that aspect of it being a its own like race part of kill jaden's race and everything that was tbc lore and this server does not want to go down the tbc lore route they are going to be following the same lore as warcraft 3 which i mentioned earlier so that's the reason for that and that's also the reason why ice troll has been turned in click has been turned into a sub race that way um the horde loses a race and the alliance loses the race so it still stay it still stays um even and the best part about that is now there's a freed up spot for a new horde and a new alliance race to join later on it's not going to be anytime soon probably after launch maybe we get into some new areas we might see some new creatures or just old creatures that have never been a part of the horde or alliance before and they can join so it leaves more room and for like more creativity instead of just another troll race you know what i mean so i'm actually glad that they're a um sub race rather than just a full-on new race because then that would have given the horde like four troll races <laughs> so that would have been a little bit too much but anyway uh let's move to the announcements now so the big announcement is that after careful deliberation and studying of metrics, the private server scene and polling we have decided, uh, after the polling, we have decided to change Azeroth at War's realm type to roleplay PvE with a renewed focus on roleplaying aspect of the game, as well as the PvE aspect. This change has been done to unleash our full potential for the purpose of creating a vanilla plus experience. Extended lore, integrated new races, and our new class, and much more. What about the PvP community? We understand that this might disappoint. Uh, this might be a disappointment for you, and also the fact that many of you might leave. But this has been our decision, and it is final. However, we do not think we will completely disregard this aspect of the game. At the same time, we do not expect world PvP on this server anymore, with the exception of a few war zones. Regarding the QA team, we expect. Okay, blah blah blah, yada yada. Okay, so uh, that's just for people who want to join the team. This right here is what we're going to be focusing on. The TLDR is that they used to be a uh, PvP server after a little bit of testing of the beta, last beta, where they turned the server into a PvE with some zones being PvP, like open PvP. They've decided, and as well as um, looking at other private servers and 
how they have been. It seems to be the most popular servers, and I can definitely um, attest to this on many other, even just retail servers and classic servers. PvE servers are the most popular when it comes to role-playing servers. 90% of role players don't want to deal with gankers while they're role playing. They just want to relax out in the woods, role play, smoke some pipe weed, and then a fucking ganker comes out of nowhere and harasses them. Now, it's one thing because, you know, it's lore, it's war, it's yada yada yada. Great point. But the thing is, it leads to harassment and the ganking over and over and over again when people just want to relax and have fun. So I definitely see the metrics there as well as. PvE servers are just more popular than PvP servers. There is definitely a demand for PvP. I personally am... I'm kind of the... I like PvP when I'm in the mood for it. So, I don't mind playing on a PvP server. But if I had to choose, I would choose a PvE server. Because then I could just relax. I could roleplay. I could do whatever. And then if I'm in the mood for PvP, I'll seek out the PvP. And that's basically what this server is going to do. They are not going to completely remove pvp they're not going to completely ignore pvp they're just turning off pvp in the main realm in the main server rather and instead they're going to have zones the, the war zones rather where every week it will rotate so a few zones will be war mode on if you go into terran mill one week it'll be war mode on full-on pvp but then the next week it turns off and that zone will be safe and instead it'll be wetlands for an example. So then it'll be open PvP in the wetlands. So it, they're going to be cycling zones to have uh, PvP on and others not. So if you are a PvE or don't like PvP at all, you're just going to have to pay attention to that because some will be open PvP. And also we plan to... Uh, I say we because I'm a little bit... I'm technically part of the team as well. But they also plan to... Um, actually build like a full-on pvp zone like pure pvp zone i'm not gonna say anything because it's still kind of up in the air but pvp zones like winter grasp ish uh that's definitely in the plan to make so there's definitely going to be pvp on the server it's just the majority of the server is not pvp but um with that being said while they um well it's not really said here they are planning to rename the server and completely just rebrand. They did say rebranding, I think, here as well. But um, right now, the name has not been decided. I do know some ideas of what they're thinking of. And there's one that I think most of us are in agreement with. But until they say it, I'm not going to say it. Either way, um, the purpose of renaming the server from Azeroth of War to ABC or whatever is that... Azeroth at War, the name, while it sounds really cool, it's got that connotation of PvP. It sounds PvP, like, oh, at war! And while the war aspect is definitely going to be focused upon in the story, in the lore, in the questing, and in the few instances of PvP, we do not want to give the impression of full-on open PvP server because it will drive in certain people, drive out certain people. So the purpose of that is now we're going to rename it to be something that's still strong. It still honors Warcraft, Warcraft 3, but it's more neutral in its take on PvE, PvP. So definitely we have an idea of a good name. Uh, it's not going to be like off the roof kind of name right it's not gonna be a fucking oh the amazing it's not gonna be something like that but it is a good name right so either way we're just gonna have to wait and see gromash is going to be the final decider of the names like i said we do have an idea i think he's already made some titles but it's up to him when he decides that's what he's gonna go with i will bring you the news and let you know of the new name and i'm gonna have to rename a whole bunch of videos on my playlist but anyway for now, that is the big news of today, and I will see you guys next time. In the comments down below, what would you like the server to be named? Do you have any ideas? I will actually forward them to Gromash for him to consider uh, renaming the server, whatever your idea is. And if you're trolling, make it a good troll. 
don't, don't, don't throw away as or not as as another one, but World of Warcraft, the shit post. Don't do something like that unless it's really good. Come on, guys, be better than that. Anyway, I'll actually see you guys next time. Bye bye.